Hello there everybody. My name is Greg Mackey and I am the Chief Executive Officer of the History Trust of South Australia. We are the proud presenters of the 2022 South Australia's History Festival, a festival of hundreds of events across the state and we are so excited to be presenting with valued partners but I would like to start by acknowledging that we're gathered here on the traditional lands of the Kaurna people of the Adelaide Plains recognise the continuing spiritual connection to country uh, of all Ghana people and all First Nations Australians and to undertake a, a formal welcome to country it's my great pleasure to introduce to you senior Ghana man Uncle Mickey Kamatpi O'Brien. Nina Mani. Hello and uh it's wonderful that we can come to you in the Mukundu being the computer, uh, or as we would say, uh, the lightning brain. Tuila Mani Budnik! Tuila Wakana Padnik! Nai Gana be a cold Maklankla, Marawachanga Gana Mina. Minyanana Mani Puruji, Nai Nari Kamatri Maricha, Nai Wangadi Mani Rabuni Gani Yatana, Iridi Yatta, Tanandanga, Karawi Rapada, Bukundo, Bokti. Welcome. Welcome to the lands of the Ghana people. And today uh, we not only come to you from Adelaide through uh, the Wicca being the internet, but we also come to you by standing on these lands uh, that I'm closely by being the River Torrens. As a descendant of the Ghana people and an ambassador, it's wonderful that we can call upon the ancestors to bring you good blessings to wherever you are and to send away that sad that sometimes follows. My name is Mickey O'Brien. I am also known as the impatient one and the sixth born uh, male of seven children. We as Ghana people had a philosophy, a philosophy of, of wisdom which said that we're not born of just the physical or the biological, but we're born of the spiritual, the emotional. And therefore we had these responsibilities, that we were unique in knowing our own song lines, that we contributed to the community as a whole, that we understood tunis being that reciprocity about that understanding of thinking twice about our decisions. We also believe that we didn't need to know everything but we needed to know what we needed to know when we needed to know it. Because we knew and understood that no one person holded all of the knowledge and wisdom in the world, it was shared. And so we were a people of sharing and caring and understanding the values, particularly upon this land. And Adelaide was unique because it wasn't just a place of education, but it was a place of conferences, a special word, Bumba Bumbaya, which really told us about how our nation's peoples came to exchange in all of their knowledge and wisdom. Because we understood the value of needs, not wants. So it's wonderful to welcome you and to wish you a journey, a journey not only of discovery and history, but a culture and many cultures. Because we believe that culture should never divide, but always enable us to come together. So I leave you these words. My unjiga, my unjiga, nachi okandaya, nachi yakandaya, padniya, do what do. It's saying we are truly brothers and sisters. And when we walk the land, we should do it together. Recognize that everything upon it is the oldest living thing in the world. And then when we look after it, it will look after us. And take the time to sit upon, but also to share a meal, to share a conversation with somebody. And I hope you do that throughout this festival. And so, nakara, being see you later. Nechaya, thank you for coming, and I look forward to seeing you, whether it be in the physical or the spiritual. Nakara. Thank you so much, Uncle Mickey. You're a great supporter of the History Trust of South Australia. We love partnering with you. You, you bring such passion and energy and good storytelling to your welcomes to country. It's now my great pleasure to invite to say a few words, Her Excellency, 
the Honourable Francis Adamson AC, Governor of South Australia. Welcome everyone to the virtual launch of South Australia's History Festival. I'm joining you from the Government House Ballroom with the historic Federation windows as a backdrop and where I'm surrounded by symbols of our constitutional monarchy. These are all part of our history, as are the marks left on the wooden floor by dancers wearing stiletto heels in the 1920s. But there are also hidden stories, the stories of the people who've lived, visited or worked here, like 16-year-old Gerald Maguire, who recorded his age in graffiti when he was working in the rafters above my head in 1955. The ballroom is a space where stories abound about the people who've been honoured with awards in the Order of Australia, where charities have been thanked for their outstanding work, where premiers and government ministers have been sworn in to commence their duties, including very recently. We at Government House are looking to tell a more complete story of our site and are embarking on a process of cultural mapping to learn more about the Indigenous history of the land on which the house has stood since 1840. And that's the essence of South Australia's History Festival, the places, spaces and stories of our heritage and how we can reimagine what that means for our present and our future. The History Festival is the culmination of many people generously volunteering their time to enthusiastically show us their stewardship of our past and connect people with their stories. The festival relies on the expert oversight and passion of the History Trust board and staff. It brings together more than 350 community groups, local associations, artists, local councils, education and cultural institutions and businesses from all over the state. Thank you all. I know that many people eagerly await the History Festival's printed program and avidly scour and mark the pages or go online to plan their month from beginning to end and select from the myriad exhibitions, tours, talks and walks on offer. I know I will. As a sixth generation South Australian, I'm proud that South Australia's History Festival enables more people to discover our foundations in a way that ignites our intrigue and enables us to reimagine our future. Enjoy. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Not long in the role and already proving to be a great friend and supporter of the History Trust of South Australia and all things to do with the history of this great state. It's now time for me to thank our very valuable sponsors and partners. And I would like to start by recognising our major partner, the City of Adelaide. Our distribution partner, Foodland Supermarkets, who are celebrating 60 years this year. Thank you also to our program partner, ECH, and our regional program partner, SA Power Networks. As the presenter of Open Doors, we thank the Office for Ageing Well and Seniors Card. And Penfolds, our event partner and our wonderful media partners, ABC Radio Adelaide, Weekend Plus, and Channel 44 Community TV. And finally, not only would the History Festival not exist, the History Trust of South Australia would not exist without the incredible and continuing support of the Government of South Australia. And once again, a heartfelt thanks to all of our History Festival presenting partners. Without their support, this festival would not be possible. I'd now like to warmly introduce, to say a few words on behalf of our major partner, the City of Adelaide, who have been with us since day one, the Right Honourable, the Lord Mayor, Sandy Vershaw. The City of Adelaide is proud to once again be supporting South Australia's History Festival.
Council is unequivocal in its support for heritage and recognises its important contribution to our dynamic city culture. Adelaide's heritage is unique. Colonel William Light's vision of a city within a park, together with Adelaide's built, cultural and Ghana heritage, provides us with valuable opportunities to celebrate. And this year, the City of Adelaide is offering 34 events, including tours of the Town Hall, talks about Colonel William Light and our city's namesake, Queen Adelaide, along with the Ghosts and Ghouls Trail beginning at the City Library and a guided tour with our senior heritage architect through historic North Adelaide. There is so much to discover. I encourage you to take the opportunity to immerse yourself in our city's rich and colourful history. Thank you so much, Lord Mayor. It's now my very great pleasure to introduce a wonderful collaborator and a constant support for the History Festival and All Things History Trust, our Chair of Trustees, Elizabeth Ho, OAM. Hi, everyone. I'm here at the Migration Museum one of the History Trust's fabulous museums, where we look after the stories of so many migrants. We nurture them, we keep them for their families, and we share them. And really, that's a way of describing our History Festival. Our History Festival is all about sharing stories, and it's for the people. The History Trust is here to make stories that everyone can enjoy. And our festival is a time for you to come along with your story. We have so many event organisers and that in itself tells a picture really of community learning rather than just looking at the past. This is about community wellbeing. This is about people getting together after a long period of difficulty. And that's where our theme, Reimagining, comes from. We've been in a pandemic for two years. We've learned a lot in that time. It has been a time of disruption. It's been a time when we have to face difficulty, when we've had to come up with creative ideas about how we carry on at home and at work. It's been pretty tough. And what we thought at the History Trust, as we gathered, all of us, with all our different backgrounds, some of us young, some of us old, some of us with families, some of us solo. We all compared what it was like to be in the pandemic. And out of that came this idea of reimagining because we've had to reimagine our lives. So how do we take that idea of reimagining into a more positive place? How do we use it as a positive force? And we think our festival is a way of doing that. We've had to face struggles and difficulties, but so did so many people in the past. We can learn about how they dealt with them, how they made their life adjustments to make life better in the long term, not just for them, but also for us. So this idea of reimagining, we would like to bring to you and invite you to think about how it applies in the world that you live in. Of course, we don't really see history the way our grandparents saw it. We have another view. And it may be that you want to look at things like First Nation experience or multicultural memory, going back to refugee times in your family. Or it might be that you want to investigate the stories of your locality. Or it might be that you want to do a project, maybe even to look at the effect of the Spanish flu epidemic when they had no face time and no vaccinations. These are some of the stories that we can look into and think about how they inform our present and our future. So I invite you, as everyone at the Trust does, to be part of this great festival, to share your stories, to bring along your friends and family in a way that we have not really been able to do for a long time. And whether you are in a region or in the city or in a metropolitan area, you will find something, I'm sure, to excite your imagination. So we're very proud here at the History Trust to present this festival. 
we're very proud that we're able to bring history to the whole community. We're especially proud of the work that we do with schools and students, helping them to understand the value of being South Australian. Thank you. Thank you, Liz, and to all of you, thank you so much for joining us for this virtual launch. As you know, we live in COVID times, and this is the first time we have launched our History Festival program via online. It's something different, but we want the main focus to be our festival program. We have over 500 events, over 350 individual presenters, and we are statewide, metro-wide, and capital city. This year's History Festival program includes over 500 events presented by over 350 event organisers. About a quarter of these events are held in regional South Australia and almost 80% of the entire program events are free to attend. So there's no excuse, ladies and gentlemen, other than to get down and get with it. The History Festival is also proud to be partnering with iconic South Australian supermarket chain Foodland, celebrating their 60th birthday in 2022. Free copies of the full program will be available from all Foodland supermarkets, as well as local libraries, community centres and registered venues from Friday the 8th of April. The program will also be available online at historyfestival.sa.gov.au. The History Festival opening night event on Thursday the 28th of April is a lawyer, a journalist, an artist and a historian walk into a bar. Hosted by none other than the great Dr Gertrude Glossop, PhD, majoring in drapery from Curtin University. Gertrude will be introducing a lawyer, a journalist, an artist and a historian. Supported by our wonderful partners Penfolds Wines, we are so excited to present this scintillating, stimulating, entertaining event. Limited tickets will be available online at the History Festival website. Don't miss what promises to be a hugely entertaining event. So you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there really is something for everyone. We invite you to bring your friends, your families, visitors from interstate and from overseas. Join us in celebrating all things South Australian as we reimagine our history for the future. Thank you.